Jason Rasidla reporting inside the Suburban Collection Showplace in Novi for the 2011 Green Car Conference. Stay tuned for remarks from Mr. Jun Ni, Professor of Mechanical Engineering at the University of Michigan. Well, we all know the era of electric vehicles are here. But what is in Chinese drive for the electric vehicle? So basically, there are a few uh, rationale behind this drive. Number one, environmental concern. Most of the city in China have on the top list on the polluting city in the world. And number two, the energy. A large percentage of import oil are used in uh, transportation. But most importantly, the rationale for Chinese push is this third quality, in my opinion. Because China believes they are far behind in internal combustion engine technology. Electrical vehicle, that's only opportunity for China to play in the same starting line. Uh, this is the China, so, uh, in China we call it New Energy Vehicle NEV. Basically, China's NEV development strategy you can see start from 10 years ago. From the pilot program, that's a government funded A63 program, and on a few of the pilot vehicles being demonstrated. Then over the years to this year, the target is to put to half million vehicles on the market. And uh, again, I'll explain in both the commercial vehicle and the private passenger vehicle sectors. Uh, the first program is for the public vehicle. Actually, if you look at the China road out they call 10 city, 1,000 project. That means if they select the 10 city, each city should have 1,000 vehicle on demonstration. So altogether, it's 10,000. But quickly, this program became 25 cities because every other city want to be one of the pilot programs. So you can see on those map, most of the eastern part of China have this uh, program rolled up. I will select a few of the city to, to show you what. Uh, this is a chart not too small for you to read, but the Chinese government, in order to create this drive, they have a, a severe, uh, I'll say, subsidy program uh, launched. Uh, this is the list of the public from the central government the incentive for both uh, the large commercial vehicle and the small commercial vehicle. You, you can see in the list of the uh, technology they wrote up, really about the high, uh, hybrid electric and the uh, full electric and even the fuel cell vehicle. Because even in the US, the fuel cell seems to take a, 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 a back burner position, but in China, the full, uh, fuel cell still uh, being uh, uh, pushed. If you can see the incentive they provide, depending on percentage of fuel replaced by electric battery, the incentive is different. So up to, for the uh, light vehicle inside, uh, up to uh, 250,000 uh, RMB for full fuel cell, because that, they assume fuel cell replaces 100% of the, the gasoline. And then you can see on the right hand side, even higher. Now I will pick a few of the city in the 10 city, 1,000 project. Beijing was the first city to run this 1,000 new vehicle program. As you can see, in 2009, we put this 1,000 new energy vehicle into service. And most are public service, uh, like buses and the fleet. And the next uh, two years, including this year in 2012, they plan to grow out another 4,000 vehicles as a part of the city municipal government. Because every city government, they want to show their uh, uh, political achievement. One of the number they use is a, a new clean vehicle uh, technology. If you go to the next Shanghai, from the last year, the World Expo, that gave Shanghai opportunity to demonstrate its new energy vehicle programs. 30 bus lines have been full operation. They're running some kind of uh, uh, new energy. Could be supercapacitor, could be uh, electrical buses, or even fuel cell. You can see these are the a breakdown of the uh, uh, different types of the 1,000 vehicles. Uh, Hangzhou. Hangzhou is another small city by Chinese standard. Hangzhou has a 6 million population. The previous two cities have all, over 20 million populations. Hangzhou by Chinese standard is a small, middle-sized city, 6 million uh, uh, population. If you look at they have uh, already 300 vehicles on the road. And uh, uh, by 2012, they want to put 3,000 new, uh, new energy vehicles on this uh, road. It's very aggressive. 
and Shenzhen. It's uh, uh, near the Hong Kong. And uh, by 2012, they want to put a 24,000, even higher number vehicle on the uh, market. Those are only counting for the uh, public vehicle, not considered uh, private yet. Uh, the breakdowns, uh, as you can see, they have a hybrid, they have a, a full electric buses, they have a, a few cell vehicles. Shenzhen actually will invent 2 billion RMB uh, uh, to put uh, more of the taxi, city taxi and public service in the uh, uh, service. Chongqing, I want to pick up Chongqing. Chongqing, I uh, think, holds Chang'an and Ford is uh, a partner in uh, China. They actually formed alliances. Chongqing formed a new energy automotive industry alliance. Basically, they tried to put the public private sector together to uh, create this push. By the end of next year, they want to adopt 1,500 new energy vehicles. This is the uh, uh, promise. And Wuhan, it's a, a central park. Actually, they already have uh, hybrid vehicles on the road. But most importantly, they want to put uh, the, another 1,000 uh, buses, hybrid buses, 1,000 hybrid buses in the city to, in, in the next two years. And also they have uh, uh, many of the uh, uh, urban area uh, incentive to create as a transportation and mechanism. Again, if you look at the funding, they also invest large amount of funding, but not compared to the Shenzhen. Shenzhen is a richer city. And there's a few others, uh, smaller, uh, northern China's uh, city. They, again, everybody tried to follow on when others city are doing this uh, largest scale adoption or demonstration and every city want to be there. That's what this program expands from 10 cities to 25 cities. Now looking at the passenger side, passenger vehicle, I think the passenger side of the vehicle, government gave a lot of incentive. If you look at this, uh, in last year, there are several ministries, uh, the ministry of the central government jointly issued this announcement. They picked five cities to be the demonstration site for uh, privately owned passenger vehicles. Basically, they, in this joint statement, joint announcement, the government gave, gave uh, large incentives. However, they picked the winners. First one, that asset batteries are out, not eligible. And also for the electric vehicle to be eligible, they have to have no less than 15 kilowatt hour capacity for plug-in hybrid, the threshold is 10 kilowatt hour threshold. If you meet that standard, then you can enjoy 3,000 RMB per kilowatt hour uh, for the electrical vehicles uh, subsidy for the uh, oh, for the hybrid. For 50,000 RMB for the uh, plug-in hybrid and 60,000 for the really pure electric. So this is a basic. Uh, Incentive from the central government. This is on the central government. I'm going to show you each of the five cities how they responded to the central government incentives. First, Shenzhen. It's the first city actually in China launched the private uh, uh, purchase of new energy vehicles. In addition to the central government incentive, they gave additional 30,000 or 60,000 RMB for either the dual mode uh, hybrid or pure electric vehicles. So you combine the central government incentive and this, you talk about over 100,000 RMB towards the purchase of a new energy vehicles for uh, private uh, citizens. And they expect to, by end of next year, to have us uh, reach 25,000 private vehicles. But if you ask today how many vehicles have been purchased, probably less than 1,000. So how can they reach that uh, 25,000? That's a stupid question. I'm going to skip uh, some of the details. Uh, Shanghai. Shanghai is uh, uh, another one of the selected five cities to demonstrate this private ownership of the new energy vehicles. As uh, you can see, by end of next year, Shanghai plan to reach, again, 20,000. They're talking about the large number. And they also want to install. Because to support the private vehicle, you need to have infrastructure, charging stations. So Shanghai plan to install five uh, 50 large uh, charging stations, 5,000 charging posts. 